Good morning, Idaho, and happy Friday. 646 right now, 14 minutes until the top of the hour. Some pretty nice conditions yesterday. It did heat up in the afternoon, got to a high of 90 degrees, but then we saw those very gusty winds move into the valley because of the thunderstorms that were near our area. So some blowing dust last night. Maybe you noticed it. It really just depended on where you were, and that also was what depended on where you saw precipitation because there was an isolated thunderstorm that moved through the western end of Canyon County, mainly hitting Caldwell, the western end of Nampa, and then rolling off to the northeast, came out of the southwest, and then took off very quickly, dropped some precipitation on the Caldwell area, but not a lot of other areas throughout southern Idaho saw much in the way of precipitation yesterday. Boise Airport only picked up a trace. Same story for Ontario. McCall at one one hundredth of an inch, but check out the most that we saw with that thunderstorm. Some hail reported 13 hundredths of an inch of precip with that storm last night. We stayed dry for today. That means plenty of sunshine, but the cooler air mass is in place with the system that moved through last night. You can already see that this morning. 54 outside, 61 in Twin Falls. Check out Stanley and McCall, though close to the freezing mark in some of these higher elevations. Keep that in mind if you have camping plans for the weekend and take some warm clothes for the late night hours and the early morning hours. Here's that disturbance centered right near Spokane right now. That low pressure is going to split in two, half of it heading to the northeast, half of it sinking down along the California coast. We won't see much effect from this. Nothing in the way of precipitation with the splitting of that system, but we will see those cooler temperatures today, a very chilly morning tomorrow, and then we will see the temperatures rise as a high pressure ridge builds back in. So today's forecast, gorgeous day. Enjoy it. Get outside and love on this weather because 10 degrees below average, those are the highs we're looking at for the Treasure Valley in the low 80s. In the Magic Valley, low 80s as well. I put cooler there, but really it's just a lot less hot. I think it'll be very comfortable this afternoon for all of your outdoor activities that you haven't been able to do in the triple digits. In the West Central and Boise Mountains, looking at mostly clear skies, a few clouds passing through, a slight chance of seeing an afternoon to evening thunderstorm, but temperatures quite cool in those higher elevations for even our highs, McCall at 79. Look at Stanley and Sun Valley, 70 and 73 as a high today. Now take a look at my on your side extended forecast. Those temperatures do warm back up even tomorrow, 90 degrees. Saturday will look a lot like yesterday did, but then we have another warm up next week with temperatures back in the mid to upper 90s. Spencer, Rachel? Well, I'd almost hate.